The Venus Project is a design for culture in which we bridge the difference between all nations. How is that done? By a universal language, the blueprint. If you open a blueprint in Japan, they know what you're talking about. If you do a, write a prescription for England, Japan, France, the pharmacologist understands that. There's no discrepancies, there's no ambivalence. I wonder what he meant by that. It's clear. We don't believe that anyone ought to make decisions. We believe that people ought to arrive at decisions. Now here's what that means. You go across the country and pick up samples of the soil from all over the nation. You bring it to central agriculture, analyze that soil, and then turn to your health department and ask them what people need, whatever they need. And what is this soil good for? What should we grow? Tomatoes, and then rotate the crop, move to something else? That's what I mean by surveying the conditions. Not, what's your opinion? What's your opinion? Democracy is a crude and vulgar system and should have been phased out centuries ago. How much longer do you think people are going to be in, in positions in industry and government making their own decisions? The shameful thing about our century is that there was only one Louis Pasteur, one Nikolai Tesla, one Madame Curie. We should have had thousands of them and we will, once we get rid of the artificial boundaries that separate people. Once we get rid of nationalism, patriotism. I do not mean to offend anybody. All that I ask you to do is think about this, toss it around. Everything looks solid to you. Everything looks solid and stable. And the future looks promising. But here's the truth. Human emotions that you learn are the most significant, most important differences between men and machines. Human emotions are a very touchy subject. It's like racing your engine at a stoplight, you know. It doesn't take you anywhere. It doesn't serve any purpose. If you get a lump in your throat when you see hungry people, that's emotional. But when you increase the agricultural yield per acre, that's caring. That's love. Love is transforming all of the verbal and paper proclamations to a way of life. The language of warmth and love are verbal excuses and verbal outlets for some people for avoiding their responsibility to make the world a better place for everyone. If you put proximity units on automobiles and if you're backing up and a child is crawling behind you, it stops no matter how much you step on the gas. I don't want any signs slippery when wet. I want an abrasive put in the highway and take that sign down so it's not slippery when wet. I don't want to say to kids, stay away from drugs. I want to make life so interesting for people that they don't want drugs. They don't want to dull their senses. They want to become keen and they want to become fully aware and conscious of their surroundings. It is painful to deaden your awareness when life is beautiful, when what you do goes out to people and makes their lives better. The smarter your kids are, the rich of my life. Therefore, it is efficient and functionally selfish to build a better world for everyone. This is what the Venus Project advocates. Thank you, Jacques Fresco, for everything you've done. You've been the greatest inspiration of my life.